on that note we quickly move on now as we start on with our own voice of liberty which is actually an online newspaper you can quickly visit our website on www.voiceofliberty.ng.com to get more of those stories as they resonate with you this morning uh, quickly now this morning on the voice of liberty has his first story and it says um our youth are uh, our youth are a time bomb waiting to explode acf bot tells northern governors our youth are a time bomb waiting to explode our consultative foreign board of trustees tells northern governors all right moving on this morning oil kidnappers flee as policemen vigilante rescue victims inside forest or your kidnappers flee as policemen vigilante rescue victims inside forest you want to get more of the detail quickly visit our website on www.voiceofliberty.ng still on the voice or on the voice of liberty newspaper rather nmpc say no petrol price hike in the next two months to acquire 20 percent stake in angote refinery nmpc say no petrol price hike in the next two months also to acquire 20 percent stake in angote's refinery the next story says pdp leader storm national assembly over a notches nomination as ILA commissioner PDP leader storm National Assembly over a notches nomination as INEC Commissioner. And the leading story in the voice of on the pages of the Voice of Liberty this morning says hold Nigeria for Nigeria's problem. Buhari tells Nigerians. Hold Nigerians for Nigeria's problems. Buhari tells Nigerians. You want to get more of those details? Visit our website. Again, the next story this morning on the Voice of Liberty says Senate raises fine for illegal sales of firearms from 1,000 naira to 1 million naira. Senate raises fine for illegal sales of firearms from 1,000 naira to 1 million naira. No fresh UTME for candidate says jump. No fresh UTME for candidates credited to joint admission and matriculation board jam. The next story says Bambit attack Governor Ganduja's convoy. Bambit uh, attack Governor Ganduja's convoy. On a very sad note, I keep feeling so so emotional anytime I see this this counting down to two days since students of San Hutanko Islamic School uh, students were abducted. To two days since students of San Hutanko Islamic School were abducted. Uh, just like yesterday it's now 32 days i just hope something is done about the issue i get so emotional personally anytime i tend to see this story and that note to summit on the voice of liberty like i rightly said earlier on you can visit our website on www.voiceofliberty.ng.com to get more of those details 